Okay, here's an update on the willies, finally. Here's a new block we got. <clears throat> Not new, we bought it used. Uh, it's put together really well. Uh, guy told me it had fuely heads, camel humps, double humps, whatever the hell you want to call them. <coughs> and actually it does. Uh, the casting number, which you won't be able to read, um, which is down in there. If you look at the last one, it says it looks like an 8, but it's actually a 6, and that's the difference. Uh, 8s were 327, like Impala heads, shitty flow, 74 cc. These are 64 cc, so that means they're um, they got and it's uh, double hump heads. It doesn't have the 202 valves like most of them don't. It's got 194s, but that's fine. This is street motor. Uh, it's got comp cams, um, push rod guides on it, uh, so the head has to be milled for those. Uh, it's got screw and studs on it. It's got. Uh, Upgraded valve springs. I don't know what the weight is on those, um, but yeah, they look like they were rebuilt. Uh, this motor was supposedly built 10 years ago, so they look like they're probably about 10 years on them. Uh, a lot of carbon buildup on the pistons and on the inside of the cylinder because they're running a 750 uh, Holly double pump on it, uh, which is just way too much carb for this motor. Also, they didn't use the right uh, gasket on the intake. Uh, between the carb and the intake, so it's probably led to it's a spread bore intake and it's a square bore carb, and they didn't use the adapter plate, so it probably had a vacuum leak pretty bad. Which, so they probably uh, were a little bit out of tune. Uh, HEI distributor, one piece rear main seal, uh, 5.7 liter block. So more than likely, this is probably a crate short block, is what I'm guessing. Uh, the truck was an 82. They didn't put one pieces on until 86. Um, uh, I've been told that this is this is pretty similar to an 87 block, so it's most likely a crate short block, is what I would guess. Uh, I don't know what it's got for a cam. I haven't pulled the bottom yet, but I'm pretty sure it's got four bolt mains. Not that it matters. This isn't going to be a high horse build. Passenger side dipstick, again, another giveaway that it's an 86 and up block, uh, besides the rear main seal. Uh, pistons, I don't know what the hell it's got for pistons, but they look to be built. Uh, they got this ridge shape right here. Probably some kind of high performance pistons. I uh, wouldn't be surprised. Um, guessing the the valve train, the springs and everything are probably comp cams just because it's got comp cam guides on it. Who knows? Maybe it's got a cam, maybe it doesn't. It had headers. That was a big pain in the ass. Broke off a lot of uh, bolts but I welded nuts onto the studs and was able to extract those pretty easily but then the reason that the heads are off, I was just going to repaint and re reseal the intake, uh, oil pan gasket, rear main seal, timing chain cover gasket, timing chain seal, oil pump seal, exhaust manifold, gaskets, uh, distributor seal, and just run it. But um, we had a little problem with the spark plugs. Now, some of you might have encountered this. Bam! Broke off in the head. Now there's a couple different ways of going about removing that, heating it and using an easy out. I don't have an oxyacetylene torch, all I have is a map gas torch, Don't does not get hot enough. I tried welding a bolt into that metal piece but it's such thin metal it didn't really take. Uh, I don't really have gas, on, I don't have gas on my uh, welder, it's just a little Lincoln one, uh, well pack 100 meg. But I don't have gas right now so I'm running flux and it's just not it's not sticking. I really don't want to screw up these threads now knowing that these are um, double hump heads you know they're outdated and everything but still a good head and uh, it kind of stinks because this motor seems like it's built up pretty good and going in a vehicle with 488 gears and 3 speed and all stock drivetrains probably it's too much motor for this thing but whatever at least it could, it'll turn 3 grand on the highway nice and happily but it, uh, you know, kind of stinks and never see its full potential again. It's not like this thing's going to do a burnout. It'll probably snap an axle. Um, yeah, so that's the plan. So ended up taking the head off. Going to bring that down to the machine shop today. The guy said he might be able to get it out easy. 
Uh, the normal machinist isn't there, so the, it's just one of the guys that works there, but he said he's run into this a few times, and he's going to try to help me out. You don't want to use an easy out because it it puts, well, especially the spiral ones. The square ones might be all right, but it puts a uh, pressure on the threads when you're coming out, and you, I really don't want to damage those threads and have to helicoil it. That would really suck. Uh, so, you know, I figured uh, I'll just take the head off, you know, new head gaskets are cheap.